Lieutenant Colonel Arthur Holland, one of the most skilled flyers in the Air Force, but a man known to take terrible risks in a B-52. Often captured on home video, his flights pushed the bomber far beyond its limits. Too low, too steep. Junior officers complained repeatedly. But it was after this flight, when Holland cleared a ridge by 30 feet, that one officer decided he had to be stopped. Lieutenant Colonel Mark McGeehan, Air Force Academy graduate and squadron commander at Fairchild, demanded Holland be grounded. The crews were extremely worried. McGeehan's wife, Jody. One of the aviators in the squadron was not a safe flyer, and they did not want to fly with him anymore. But superior officers defended Holland, saying he was too senior, too experienced to be grounded. They refused McGeehan's request. He more or less stood by the door and looked at his commander and said, I just want to make sure that you completely understand me. I do not believe that he should ever be able to fly again. So with his superior officer refusing to act, McGeehan did the only thing within his power. He ordered his men never to fly with Holland. If anybody had to go, he would. Pilots who witnessed the crash knew the aerobatics were reckless, yet initially Air Force Secretary Sheila Widnall denied it. The things we do in air shows are what we normally do in our training missions. When Congress asked about reports of aerobatics, Secretary Widnall wrote, the initial investigation found nothing to verify such speculative statements. Today, the Air Force Secretary is touring Asia, unavailable for comment. During three years of reckless flying, there was a succession of ten senior officers at Fairchild who had authority over Holland. The report shows that these men covered for him. There are no official reprimands in his file.